guys welcome back to my channel or welcome if you guys are new so in today's video we are changing sceneries because i've been wanting to incorporate a little bit more of a single book review here on my channel but i kind of want to do them a little bit more a little bit less formal and i kind of want to do them more as book talk than official book review so i thought it would be a little bit more casual here um on my couch than in my filming room so I thought as the very first book talk um, on the channel, I would start with The Gilded Ones by Namina Forna. This was one of my most anticipated book release of the year, and it came out a few weeks ago. And I read it, and I thought it would be the perfect time, and I thought it would be the perfect book to start with. So this book is about a world, a very patriarchal world, where women, from the moment that they are born up until I think they're up until I think when they're 16 years old. Um, are raised to be lesser than men basically and are raised to be like these perfect uh, future life for them for their men and to um, do everything for the men and then on their 16th birthday they have to go through this ritual to make sure they are pure basically in this world women can either have red blood which is normal and then you would enter society enter the village become a member of the village or you can have gold blood which is which means you are unpure and then you are outcast from your village and sentenced to death enters deka our main protagonist and on the day of her ritual her blood ends up um, running gold which means she is impure and she is sentenced to death but she meets a woman called white hand and this woman offers her a deal to basically basically become a warrior for the kingdom to defeat these dead trick which are like horrible monsters who kills everyone and so she has to go to this camp with a bunch of other girls to train and become a warrior to defend her kingdom so that's basically the premise of the story. I ended up really liking this book. I gave this book four star. I really liked it overall. I think it was really well done. Um, I would recommend this book. It was pretty different than anything else I have read. I think it's my first West African inspired book. So I really enjoyed that. I hadn't read anything like that before, which I really liked. I loved the bond that creates between all of these girls that are at the camp. Um, it, this is this book is very much a like book of sisterhood, of girl bond, girl power, um, girl protecting each other and standing beside each other and just creating this sisterhood where all these girls stand together and protect each other and I really like that aspect. I think it was really really well done. This is very much a feminist book um, with girl power in it without being anti-men. We did have some really good main characters in this book as well, but it is main, but it is mainly a girl dominant book, even even though we are in a man dominant world, if that makes sense. I really enjoyed, especially in the beginning, the dichotomy between the girl that they were raised to be and the girl that they, that they are training to be. And there's this big contrast between those two aspects, and I really enjoy that. And it's also and it also made for a really good character growth, I think, in this book. I really like the arc of Deka, um, how she start off as something and in the end is completely different. But I did feel like the growth in this book was pretty well done overall. I really enjoy that. I love getting to know all of the other girls as well in this book and I love getting to know um, about their tribe and their tr tradition because even though it's a really big kingdom there's these bunch of like there's these provinces with this with these different tribe and they all have different traditions and different way of doing things even though it's a like a big country I guess and I really enjoyed getting to know all these different uh, different tribe. That was an aspect that I really really enjoyed. I did feel like the pacing in this book was pretty well done. Um, the author did a great job at keeping us intrigued and making us want to know what was going to happen. I read this book pretty quickly. I will say though these girls go through some horrible things especially in the beginning so I would check out some th trigger warnings if that's something that you're concerned about because there are definitely some trigger warnings for this book some on page and some off page so I would check those out which made it I think 
harder for me to read this book for a long period of time. I needed to take break. This is what this wasn't one of those books that I could just read for like eight hours straight because I needed some some pause from time to time. But I always wanted to know what was gonna happen, and I've always like it wasn't hard to go through. It just sometimes I needed a pause because they go through some horrible stuff um, in this book. Some aspect that I do think could have been a little bit better. Uh, this is a debut novel for this author. I think she was a screenwriter before and you could kind of tell I think because I do think the time flow in this book wasn't the best and wasn't like as natural as it could have been. There was some gap in time and some jump um, that wasn't that didn't feel as natural as in some other book um, which may also made the love story in my opinion very insta love. I felt like since they were jump in time and they were um, they didn't feel natural, we couldn't really see the progression in the love story as much as I wish we would have. It made it feel like it was insta love, even though I don't think it was. It just since they were jump in time, um, it felt very insta love in this book. So that's something that I kind of didn't really enjoy. Also, I will say um, I think the magic system in this book could have been explain a little bit better and develop a little bit better um we didn't get to know too much about it we we're kind of left off wondering we don't have any like a specific rules we don't know any specific things about the magic system in this book so i think that was lacking a little bit i did say that i love getting to know you know all the different story and of the different tribe but i do think we could have had more in this book and um I wish we would have more and I wish we would have gotten more about the different tribe and the history of the world. She did a good job but just I just wish we had more of that. So that's maybe a few aspects that I think she could improve. Like I said this is her debut novel so I'm pretty sure we'll be able to see a progression in the future books. Um, it kind of left off as this could have been a standalone book. I'm kind of hoping this is not going to be a super long um, series, not because it wasn't good, but just because this kind of left off like it could have been that could have been it. I can see why they would you would need a second book, but I'm kind of hoping this is not like a really long series unless she does something completely out of the blue. Um, I kind of feel like this hopefully is a maybe duology or trilogy. At most but yeah so yeah guys that's pretty much it I think I think I have said everything I wanted to say on this book without spoiling anything I highly recommend this book in the end I really enjoyed it I thought it was really well done I hope you guys end up wanting to pick up this book after watching my review um, so yeah that's pretty much it that's pretty much it for this video leave a comment down below if you have read this book what you guys thought about it was I right was I wrong did I miss something I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys later. Bye!